I'm singing in the rain. Yes, singing. Oh, hey there. Listen, I know what you're thinking. Didn't we already see that video? And it's really easy to get confused. The review video that you're thinking of is called the Brella Shade. This is called the Brella Shield, huh? See the difference? Shade, shield. Anyway, this is what we're going to look at today. It's a car windshield cover. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look at this Brella Shield to see if it's any good. Here is our Barella shield. It's our windshield or sunshade for our car. Let's unbox this. All well, right off the bat, I love that it comes with a carrying case. I do not have anything else left in the box, but I do love that it has a carrying case. All right, open up, there's my directions. So if I look at the handle, I do not see a button to open it up. There's a Velcro strap that goes around. I'm not gonna open this inside, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like first off. So let me read through the directions and then we'll test it out. We're gonna open up our Brella shield. And so untie that Velcro spot, there we go. And then we're just gonna push this up and there's a little button right here. If you can see that, just push this for a quick release to open this up. And there you have it, wide open. Now I will say the difference between the Brella Shield, this product, and the Brella Shade, the other product I reviewed, is that one had us cut out here for your mirror right about here. And I kind of liked that cut out because it was, I was able to fit it in. This one does not have it, but we'll see how it works out. Here's our Brella Shield. Now, to close it, back into place, tie this up, and let's wrap our Velcro around to hold it tight, and then we can fit it into our bag. So tell me, what are your thoughts of these windshield sunshades? Do you have one of these? Would you use a product like this or even the Brella shade? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I'm excited to try the Brella shield. Let's do this. So I was able to open it and sort of slide it in here, but then my mirror is in the way. I'm not quite sure what to do or how to keep it up. If I try to bend down my sun visors here, it bends it. So I'm a little confused. Maybe it just won't work for this car. I know it's a little crazy, but I took the mirror off because I've been having such a difficult time setting up the Brella shield. So now I'm gonna just wanna see if it fits in place. So here we go. So as you can see, it's all snug down here towards the bottom, right here by the window. But the top, this is definitely too tall for my window. Even if I tried folding down my visors, this metal thing would start to bend and therefore breaking the umbrella shield. That's frustrating. I can't even let go of it. Otherwise it just falls down. Now I'm trying this in a bigger vehicle. This is the camper. And so the base here or the front is an Econoline 350. So yeah, it fits in here in the window and I can put the visors down without damaging it. And yes, the mirror is still intact. The only thing I notice is on both sides, there is a huge amount of the actual window that's not covered. Fits, yes. Provides full coverage, no. Just like with the Brella Shade, I've opened and closed the Brella Shield over 700 times to simulate one year's worth of use. I will say this one has gotten a lot stiffer to close, which is interesting. I thought it'd get looser. Also, I did notice that this clamp here sometimes fails to catch. So you gotta make sure you really push it up in there. Just like the Brella Shade, the Brella Shield is made up of these really thin wires. And some of the times when I open and close, it bends the wrong way. And I think, man, this is gonna break any time now. So just be careful when you open and close this that you don't bend the wires or twist the wires because they're easy to break, especially right here by the hinge. 
Here we have the Brella Shield and the Brella Shade head to head. You'll see the biggest difference is that the Brella Shade has that V in here where you can put your mirror in. Now it does have that Velcro attachment, whereas the Brella Shield does not. And in my opinion, that V is necessary just to fit in and around the mirror of your window for most cars. Now, I was able to get the Brella Shield into a larger vehicle and that fit fine, but the smaller vehicles, I just couldn't fit it in. And I think it's because of that V. Now you do see that the Brella Shield is definitely pulled tighter and that's probably because yet again, it doesn't have that cutout right here where that one looks more wrinkled. But in my opinion, for me at least, the Brella Shade is a whole lot more usable than the Brella Shield. If you're still gonna get this, make sure it fits your windshield. So from left to right, it measures 51 inches and from top to bottom, it measures 30 inches. So anything smaller than that, it definitely won't fit. Anything larger than that, it might fit. You just might not have the space around it. So just make sure it fits your windshield specifically. In this video, we were looking at the Brella Shield. It's an as seen on TV windshield sunscreen. Now, what did I think of it? Well, if you can find a vehicle that this fits in, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It keeps that hot, hot sun out and it keeps your vehicle cooler than if you didn't have something in your windshield at all. I love the umbrella feature, how quick open and quick close. Even over time, it still worked. It might have been a little more difficult, but it still worked. And I really liked the case. It kept it safe, convenient, and just stick it into a glove box and there you go. What didn't I like about it? Well, I didn't like that it didn't fit in all my vehicles. At most, this is one size fits some. I tried it in a few vehicles and only fit into a really, really large vehicle, at least in my opinion. Um, I also didn't like that it didn't have that cut out for the mirror because that makes it more convenient. I probably could have fit it into other vehicles if it had that cut out because I could have fit it around the mirror. Anyway, that was my review of the Brella Shield. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. Since the only vehicle I have that fits the Brilla Shield is my camper, I'm going to store this in the camper glove box. Well, I'm going to have to find somewhere else to store it because it doesn't fit in my glove box. How frustrating is that? Since it doesn't fit in my glove box, there is a spot at the front of the car that's another storage container that I can fit the Brella Shield. So there we go. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Brella Shield. In this video, I reference another product that's very similar by Sharper Image called the Brella Shade. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that review video right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.